One in eight people died from famine in Ukraine between 1932 and 1933, even though there was no blight or drought. So, how did that happen? The Ukrainians call it the Holodomor genocide. It stands for hunger and extermination. And it's one of the most tragic chapters of Ukrainian history. When Ukraine became a part of the Soviet Union in 1922, it was referred to as its breadbasket, thanks to its fertile fields of wheat. In 1928, Stalin introduced collectivization, which united privately owned farms into state collective farms called kolhoz. The idea was to make production more effective and create a surplus to feed industrial workers. But peasants were unwilling to hand over their lands, so the states confiscated their fields. Many farmers were sent into exile. In 1932, the government's quota on crops increased significantly. The targets were impossible to meet. The state confiscated the harvest of farmers and they were left with nothing to feed themselves. Those who hoarded crops were either punished or executed. The villages that failed to meet the quotas would be blacklisted and completely cut off from the outside world, so they couldn't search for food elsewhere. As a result, millions died from hunger. There are different estimates about the exact number of deaths, all reaching up to 12 million. Ukrainian state schools teach that 7.5 million died in the famine. A recent study by the Harvard Ukrainian Research Institute reported 3.9 million people in Ukraine and 1.3 million people in Kazakhstan died due to the Great Famine. Even though the USSR said the famine affected the whole state, Ukraine and Kazakhstan were the worst hit by population. 13.3% of Ukraine's population and 22.4% of Kazakhstan's population died from mass starvation, while that number was only 3.2% in Russia. Holodomor was officially denied by the Kremlin for more than half a century. Today, it's recognized as a genocide against the Ukrainian people by 16 countries, as well as the Vatican. Ukrainians around the world light a candle to remember this tragedy every fourth Saturday of November. <laughs>